In breaking down the parable of the sower, it's very interesting that in each one of the Gospels, there's something that's a little bit different from each one of the writers. In fact, as an example, Matthew wrote that in the prophecies of Isaiah, well, he was a Jew writing to the Jews, so this was something that was very important to his audience. Mark is very distinct and very short whenever he writes his words because he's writing to the Romans. And Luke will break everything out, and the reason for that is he's writing to the Greeks and they need to know everything. But in each one of the Gospels, Jesus says this, and each one of the writers wrote this, and that is, he who has ears, let him hear. You have ears, I have ears. If you're able to wear glasses or sunglasses, we all have ears. There's ways that we can take in what it is that Jesus has to say. So this week, this is very important for you to understand and for me to understand. This week it is personal, which is the next thing that parables are. There's something that we can see. There's something that we can take with us, but they're also something that is personal. If you took the time yesterday to write down some of those stories, some of those stories about you are very, very personal. And you have to know something. Whatever they are, don't beat yourself up and go back and dwell in them. Whatever they are, don't go back and relive them. Use them so that we can move forward together because that is what Jesus wants you to do. He wants you and I to take a look at our life, our experiences, and be ready to share those to help others. Who is it that you can reach out to with those stories? Would you bring them alongside with you tomorrow as we spend a few minutes together?